Money is something that everyone would want. You mostly cannot get everything for free, but rather with the use and power of money. If you take a look on mobile games, they are marked notorious for its common scheme of paying, charging you in real life money in exchange for whatever advantages or products the creators may offer. One bothers me to an extent though about Blockman Go and its relation to the so-called pay to win. So in BMGO, has pay to win gone too far? If so, how far? Before we proceed, let us define for everyone what is exactly considered as pay to win. In online gaming, pay to win is the practice of buying in game items that give a player a very, very big advantage over others. This includes most premium in game currencies, but not all, as it depends on how the corresponding game developers implement them. In BG, we can say that G-Cubes is the brood and seed of pay to win in this game that became into the BG that we know today, an unbalanced, unfair, and lopsided game. Let's observe on how many ways we can actually use G-Cubes in the game. First off, like most popular battle royale games, their respective premium currency are mostly used for cosmetics and customization. BG developers, however, are not at a fool to realize this, as G-Cubes are also used for buying outfits, cosmetics, custom effects, display, and luxury. What else you might think? You may be thinking about in-game items, am I right? Well, you are correct if so. BMGO Bedwars is a prime example. You can buy anything with G-Cubes in this specific shop anywhere, anytime as long as you possess the said currency, namely G-Cubes. The thing about this shop is that it ravaged the game in a way that skill was replaced with currency, buying, and spending. Players would often complain about others who use, or as they say, abuse their G-Cubes for their own advantage, likewise making the game unfair. Not only bad words, even games like Skyblock, Egg Wars, Sky Royale, Build and Shoot, you name it. Every single one of these games follow a same old scheme. Players get interested in the game making them progress and play more, and then poke their interest with an advantage that they could only obtain from paying G-Cubes. However, why even? Why did the developers just decided to do that? Well like as the intro says it, money. Monetary gain is what rooted greed and hunger for not just BG developers but other devs of other games that can be pointed out to have the same issue. You can indeed argue that they need money to keep the game running and pay their developers, but that is not and never the case. It is simply because they have gotten too far with implementing the same scheme over and over again. Granting players with the privilege to buy any item in-game whenever they want is objectively unfair, especially to those who can't use them. Second of which, where does even the money go? We cannot even say that the money has and will be put into good use, namely for the development of the game as the game right now is not even optimized with lags, server errors, a bad anti-cheat, dull and repetitive events. Servers? Have they even budgeted money for improving and adding quality servers for the game? Never! And that my dudes is the reason why the region update that you all hate was added in the first place as they did not put work and money into improving servers, but to add the said region update and completely terminate cross-region gameplay. So to answer your question about have they gone too far? Yes.
by how a lot. Now let us talk about the events that they have been adding recently. Yes, I will say it before you, they are indeed a little bit more friendly in the way that they are giving more free items and cosmetics, meaning more free wings, more free outfits, and all. But do you win by outfits? Well, that indeed is a silly argument to point out. As this word you're seeing right now stands for pay to win. The words to win is what makes these such events not help at all to reduce pay to win. Likewise mentioned, pay to win is not about or does not address the looks and cosmetics, rather the gameplay, balancing, and reasonability. So what can be done to reduce pay to win in the game? Mind you, we cannot do anything about it as players directly. But what we can do, and what we have already done, is to raise awareness to the developers to at least balance and fix the game. These days, everything is in the hands of the developers on how will they keep their game alive. Efforts of raising awareness can also be observed, such as YouTubers making videos about it, and the most recently and unique way to say the least is by Zeph and the hacking situation. They are trying their best to get the attention of the developers on how bad the game has become by adding pay to win in an already stolen game. Although it is arbitrary to say that they may be doing it in the wrong way, we can only appreciate their effort and dedication to get the said attention of the developers. Last off, what can we even consider that isn't paid to win or simply free to play? The only logical answer would be if G-Cubes was only there to buy cosmetics and outfits, then we can officially say that BMGO will be a free to play game. Plus the runes, please. Obviously. This and the common knowledge that BG is made out of blatant copies of original games compiled in an unoptimized game engine is a chain that drags BG's overall quality to the ground. Don't worry as that is another story for another time. What do you think? Have they gotten far for you? If yes, how far? Let me know in the comments and as always, subscribe, enjoy, and make it possible.